Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to eat and run here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Monday, Mosh Pit. Hope your weekends were awesome and hope your start of your brand new week here is going awesome as well. We're waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes. A couple of them are very close. Again, we're now only seven away from the like streak being completed. Let's get a like streak streak going this week and get her done. Here's your meme of the day. This is an old one, but a good one. Sent in by King Gruffles. That thread was Saw Sin get card reading again, so I had to do it. The mosh pit once Invicta gets an item he likes. Suntorium. Card reading. Mom's knife. I mean, I don't I, I kinda like the mom's knife. It's not all that great. Oh shoot. Here we go again. <laughs> Thank you, King Gruffles, and everyone who upvoted that one. You know, the, the old CJ meme, it just never ever gets old, man. Like it seriously never does. CJ is gonna be seven Papa, eight X-ray, Sierra nine, Papa seven. Uh we've got uh many eyes along with the crystal bottle. And the Warfly, which I failed to drop, and I'm going to do right now. We've got uh, great damage, really terrible tears rate, though, and decent everything else. So the problem with the with many eyes is that, obviously, we don't have any control over where we're going to be firing um, in terms of the multi-directions, which is the reason why I don't really like joined all that much. Uh, but in this case, it's even worse because, yes, even though we don't get an associated damage down like in joined, we do still have even more directions that we're going to be firing off at random. So if we can get something like tractor beam, that would be nice. Um, if we're gonna fire out in random directions, at least give us piercing shots, something like that. But as you can tell right now, this is the lack of tears. And I'm not talking about the amount of tears that we're doing, but the actual lack of fire rate uh, that we're firing with, because obviously, you know, keeping up with this ridiculous room can also be kind of a chore, especially if you have low damage or low DPS like we do. Our damage is fine, but our, our actual our actual shot uh, firing rate is not good. So very weird spot for the secret room here, but obviously with us having the crystal ball, we're gonna be able to see exactly where everything is, which is always good. I would have never ever thought that the crystal ball or that the uh, secret room was there and yep. All right, might as well try to make two cents here on the uh, pinny eyed keeper. I, I mean, might as well, right? Hey, look at that. It's gonna be a lucky Monday, who knows? Lucky Monday. Now, would I re-roll this run? Um, I like having the crystal ball too much, but at the same time, I really truly do not like many eyes. Um, yes, it doesn't really modify like the direction that we're firing because obviously like Isaac is still firing in a straight line. It's just it's just not having the, the full control over where I'm firing that can be problematic. Um, and the many eyes, you know, it, it's a it's a neat idea for an item. It's just not one that vibes with me all that much. Um, now, that being said, of course, we don't have any way of getting into this dice room. So, uh, but maybe, you never know. See, this is where I thought the secret room would have been here. If I, if I didn't know where the secret room is, I would have totally thought that it was right there, but it is obviously not. My God, it's pinned. Now, if many eyes actually fired off, many eyes actually fired off multiple shots. Like if it fired off at like random rates and stuff, that could be kind of cool. But as it stands, it only fires at the rate that Isaac is firing, and it's just totally, it's just totally random. So, and you know, you know me, randomness, and myself do not get along that well. Caffeine pill, and I think we'll just head on down. First, the unknown. We're still going to use the crystal ball and if we even get here upon. Okay, so with us having the crystal ball here and especially the Hierophant card, we might play the sacrifice room uh, to maybe get an angel deal to start us off with. If we get a, if we get another like soul heart, that would be great. I'm gonna back up over here and just let the power card do its thing. But obviously we need to be extremely cautious with our HP here. We only have one red heart. Um, if we're going to play the sack room, we need to play it before we go fight the boss. It's a little bit of a risk. It just kind of depends what we get here. It's weird to me that the, that the horfs don't start firing until after you hit them with a shot. It's like they couldn't see you until after like you like hit them and it's like, oh, you're like, you're in, you're, you're in existence now, like right there. I guess in a weird way, and I kind of never actually thought about this until just now, Technically, they're blind, so maybe they really, truly didn't know that you were there until after you made yourself known. 
I never actually thought about that before. It's actually kind of interesting. We continue to take chip damage here and there from really, really awful angles of these spiders. This is a terrible room to be in. Again, most of this is due to the fact we just can't kill them in time before we have to make an adjustment. And again, though, one soul heart down, and that pretty much seals the deal for us not being able to play the sacrifice room now before the boss anyway, which is annoying. There's a couple of things that make this room awful. First off is just the amount of the sheer amount of spiders and the immortal double spiders that you get here. Secondly is going to be the spider webs. And then you combine that with the fact that we just don't fire all that much. And that's a recipe for getting hit many, many times, especially if your movement speed is not great, which movement speed is good. So we can't use that as an excuse. Into our item room here and see exactly what we're working with. We could use a bomb. One bomb is pretty decent for that. We get D-Bizzle, the other D-Bizzle. Some people actually were not liking how I say D-Bizzle for dead bird. I'm not going to place the bomb there because we may need it for something else. The room is just designed to slow you down and annoy you. By you, I mean me, of course. We all know that everything in this game was done for me, by me, to me. That's how, that's how it works in the influencer world. That's why every influencer is, is infallible. In perpetuity. Nothing is ever our fault. How could it be? We're just the ones here playing the game. Now, if we can get more of those spread shots there like we had in Angelic Prism, that would be quite nice. Obviously, the biggest get for us right now is going to be us getting a tears upgrade. Black Candle would also be very nice. We'd have to deal with this curse of the unknown malarkey anymore. We're finally out of here. We actually fired a tier back behind us, which is interesting. The strength card. Now, the strength card is also interesting. And we get Black Candle. You bet your bottom dollar we're going to blow this up. Not even going to mess with going to a... Not even gonna mess with going to the uh going to the um temperance machine although now i will though because i do want nine volt as well and of course there's no temperance machine so all right uh we could go into we can still technically play the sack room if we decide to use the strength card but uh, i don't know man like it's not, there's not a whole lot of tears ups that we can get from an angel deal. The only ones I can really think of that's truly just a tears up is, I guess, rosary. <laughs> that's it. I can't think of any other tears. Is divorce papers, is that a tears, or is that a, uh, that's not an angel deal item, I don't think. Divorce papers. I know that's a devil deal item. Yeah, the only one I can think of is rosary. And I guess the Paschal candle, but it's not really a tears up, like. We're, talk we're talking about like getting an actual actual stat up, not like a wannabe stat up. Kind of a contentious room here because obviously we Got to deal with a champion that's going to explode into multi shots like that right there, and then also dodge pretty plum, which tried to combo us and didn't. Didn't get away with it. So the Soul of Eden is going to re-roll pedestals and randomize the loot tables that it rolls through, which can be good or bad depending on how you look at it, and also like you know the results that you get. There's the prerequisite. Gotta get hit by a baby plum, fruity plum. And uh, there is mom's knife as well. We re-rolled into speedball, which would give us our second syringe item. And I am going to take it. So we are almost maxed out movement speed now, which is great. Um, I am going to take a risk here and go into the sack room. Now, we don't have enough to technically play this but we do have a nine volt charge as well so we might be able to get some value out of this if we get lucky and 
and we've gotten absolutely nothing. <sighs> All right. Go back and get 9 volt here, and then we're going to go into the boss trap room before we use the uh, crystal ball in case we do get a soul heart. And that is not what I want either. So... Got a soul heart. There's another full charge inside of the shop as well. All right, take that back. It's a uh, another soul heart. So we're going we're going real deep on this one, y'all. I mean, we're going deep, deep. Was there a judgment in here? There's not a judgment. We're already pot committed at this point. Random angel deal item would be great, and we get a soul heart, and that's where our fun ends. Yeah, us going for the box against the boss trap room with very bad DPS is not going to happen. Uh, secret room might be here. Oh, I'm an idiot. We've already seen the secret room. We, we deserve to waste that bomb. All right. Oof. All right. This is not great so far. Going over to last week's question of the episode. In your opinion, what is the most dangerous tier effect in the game? And this one had a lot of answers. I mean, a lot of opinions to be expressed. And thank you again, everyone, for engaging with the videos and the comments. I'm glad that everyone's really hopping on board with the uh, comment and question of the episode. It does help out greatly with the engagement. So again, first off, I want to say thank you all very much for that. Secondly, the most upvoted comment by far. Oh my gosh, we got a planetarium on any of these question of the episodes by far uh, setting a record at 68 upvotes at the time of this recording was bumper cars uh, 5700 who said y'all it's Ouroboros tears did you see the worst run ever point made and that's how they left it the mic drop and uh yeah Ouroboros Ouroboros tears are uh are quite awful as someone who has first-hand experience playing a literal entire run with that garbage item let me tell you something, brother. It is horrible. It is indeed terrible. So we get Venus, which also a great help to us. This is going to give us some HP to work with. It would have been nice if we had this kind of HP on Tainted Maggie, but, you know, here we are. Venus actually taking out the entirety of this of this room, so. Oh, that's a weird spot for the... Again, another weird weird spot. The reason why this spot's weird in particular is because it's only, it's only adjacent to three rooms. So again, we're getting some pretty, pretty interesting, nice way to say it, pretty interesting uh, secret room generations here. Now the act of us walking outside, the act of us walking out of the shop, going through the door that was locked means that it keeps it unlocked for us, which is nice. Problem is that we can't get into these, we can't get into the item room like this because we need a Yave. And we need to stop taking this chip damage. We cannot afford to lose this, this soul heart. We man it if we want to maintain the uh, the devil deal here. Oh my gosh! And boy howdy, if there was ever a run that needed a tears up, it's this one right here. Two point two seven attacks per second is um, not going to cut it. Something like PhD would be nice. And divorce papers would be great. I mean, I already made one call a black candle, so maybe we can get another here. Oh, I thought that was the third one. <laughs> well, Venus is actually doing more damage than we are, which is a real sad state of affairs whenever you're letting a charm effect deal your primary source of damage, but here we are. Don't need ourselves the Ave to get into our item room. We're super fast right now. Always take out the dips in this room first, especially if they're the corn dips, because they will schmoove like nobody's business. They say business. And we need to keep up with our production here, even though we, we've we already gotten the effects of uh, Crystal Ball on this floor. We still need to keep up with the Soul Heart generation just because this damage, you know, in this, in this case, for once, it's not going to be the lack of movement speed or anything like that. But it's the lack of tears rate that's uh, dangerous. Oh my god! Oh, 
No, Isaac, you moron. What are you doing? All right. It's going to be a real shame if we can't get into the item room. Might have to go into the curse room, but even then, we don't have, we don't even have bombs to, to get, like, a stone chest, so... <clears throat> Thank you, Fallen, for eating yourself. We don't get a devil deal. And... Was there a key in the shop? Or at least a bomb that could entertain the thought of us going into the curse room. No, of course not. Since we didn't get a devil deal, I will go into the curse room just to see, I guess. And, yep. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, team. Well, we did get some bombs here, but it's not going to be enough to do really anything with. Maybe get into the super secret room, but there's so many possibilities. It could be there. It could be... There. Be there. I think we'll just pass on that. Could go into the alt path room, but I've never seen a key in there. It's not one that was stopped by like a, that wasn't like a tinted rock or needed another bomb and we only have two, so. Yeah, I do agree that uh, Ouroboros Worm is the most, is one of the most dangerous tier effects. Not because it can directly harm you, but obviously because, like, it prevents you from harming anything else. So the second most upvoted comment on that episode was from It Lived, who said, I would have to say $3 bill as it affects your tiers and stats unlike Play-Doh Cookie or Fruitcake. And yeah, that's another, that's another great point, you know. Um, I think that Fruitcake is very, very dangerous. Or, sorry, a $3 bill. $3 bill was like I you you all know me I don't like taking any of the of the random tier effect uh shots and that's mostly because they can they can harm you but $3 bill can can really screw up your stats like no one else like like if you get like quad shot or proptosis at the wrong time it can make it can render you basically useless um and uh, the other ones yes they're dangerous but they don't mess with your stats you know so I definitely agree with that it lived um, and saying that, you know, $3 bill is, is out of those three, Play-Doh cookie, fruitcake, and it, and, uh, not, yeah, and it lived, uh, and a $3 bill, $3 bill is definitely the worst out of those three, but I'm not going to take any of them. We go, we go into the shop here first. 99 cents. Yeah, brother. So, and finally, the third most upvoted comment was Jared J's 3864, who simply just said Ipecac. <laughs> I mean, if we're going purely off of just danger to yourself, yeah, then yeah, it, it's it's hard to argue with either Ipecac or Dr. Fetus, I will say. I would much rather have Ipecac than Dr. Fetus, obviously. But that's just me. I think uh, we did get ourselves a, another Yabe and Mom's Key. We're going to load up on everything in here. So, Moon Card to bomb this for an 80% chance for a deal with the devil. And you may notice that I didn't use, or I didn't buy the full charge yet because we need to go at least get a full charge. Keeper's Kin. And people have been reminding me on the streams that uh, I need to talk about Sissy. So sorry. I don't mean the one in game. So little Sissy, for those of you who didn't know, um, went missing last week. And uh, essentially... I don't know, I don't know like exactly what triggered it. I think it was me, I think it was me um, lightly encouraging one of her boyfriends that uh, he needed to not be of existence in my house anymore. And uh, I think that me gently removing him from existence may have startled sissy because she was also on the web when my shoe 
somehow came down on the web and may have gently escorted her boyfriend off the premises. And I think that that was her signal that she's not in a safe place in the foyer. So, uh, she went missing for a couple days and I was actually legit as dumb as it sounds. I was actually, what am I doing? I have a moon card. I was legit actually kind of sad that little sissy wasn't there anymore. I was like, oh man, like really? She's gone. And I felt bad too. Like it's the second time I felt bad about the stupid spider. Because the first time, I, the, whole, the whole reason why she even became a thing was because I felt bad because I, like, I was trying to kill her with a vacuum cleaner. And she was doing such like an amazing and admirable job at dodging me uh, that I was like, man, and like she was clearly like terrified, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so this is the second time now that I felt bad about the spider because she, you know, it, it was clear that she was uncomfortable at the very least fearful for her life at the very worst uh, of her current predicament and her choice of living quarters in my house as my roommate. So she went missing for a couple days and I was legit sad because like I got used to her. Like I got, I literally got used to like looking down in that corner and just seeing her there. I'm like, oh, like there's sissy. I wonder how she's doing today, you know? And she was gone. She was just, just gone. So I was like, well, here's the hoping that she found like, you know, some place that I can't find her. And, you know, here's also to hoping that if I sever if I ever see her again, that I will, will recognize her because that's li that's kind of dangerous on her part. If I can't recognize her from like another spider just randomly in the house. So I was content with that. And I said, well, we'll just see what happens. And hopefully she it's for the best. And she's grown up with a family and you know, it was doing well for a single mom. I don't know if she's a mom yet or not. Anyway, anyway, that fast forward to about three or four days later and all of a sudden I see a I see a dark spot in my office I'm like what the heck is that because like I've never I don't look at that corner much anymore it's actually not on the corner it's on like the flat behind the door and I looked at there and I was like no no it, that can't be are you serious and yeah it was little sissy she is back So what she had done is she actually went across the hallway into my office. Oh, okay. That's why the music didn't stop. So she actually crossed the entire hallway over. It's not that far away. It's not like I have like huge hallways or anything. Um, but she crossed over to my office. So I was like, oh my gosh. And uh, in my mind, I'm thinking that, you know what? Maybe little sissy just wanted to be closer to me. Maybe she knows that like, I'm like for her own good. It's better to be closer than far away from me. That's how I'm choosing to think of it in my mind. Now, whether or not that's a psychotic thought or not, well, you know, you beat the judge on that. I think some people will probably already tell you that I'm maybe not psychotic, but like, you know, I'm a strange, I'm a strange duck. Let's put it that way. I definitely feel strange for talking about it freaking spider like this anyway so yeah so she's back i'm looking at her right now and it, before you ask like how do you know it's actually like the legit sissy it's i've confirmed that it is because it is she has she has the exact same size as sissy and also what other spider would it be <laughs> you know like what other spider could it possibly be that is that is of the same size same color same everything you know, I, I like, it's a spider that was within the same area of Sissy. It's not entirely unfeasible that she would have just walked across the floor. By the way, we got a second planetarium. How are we getting so many planetariums? We don't have anything that modifies our planetarium chance in any way, shape or form. Are we secretly lucky on this run and I'm just not paying attention to it? It's soul. I mean, you know, soul. So little sissy has been found and I was, I was like happy. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like she's, she's there. She's actually here. 
I was worried that she died or that maybe I accidentally stepped on her somehow or, you know, someone who came over to my house may not have noticed her. I don't really try to draw attention to her because I don't want people, A, thinking I'm a weirdo, and B, even though I'm telling like, you know, 40, 50,000 people a day about this, um, you know, people that I, that I see. <laughs> uh, but also, like, I didn't want people to be overly, like, dramatic about her and, like, pay too much attention to her, you know? So I just leave her alone. But I was worried. I was like, I was like, man, like she's gone. Like she's gone, gone. And I scared her off and like I felt really bad again. But no, she's back. She's here. So that's a to me, like I never thought that smite that spiders could be smart. I call them smiters. Um But I gotta say, like, she's showing like what I perceive, anyway, as a level of, of intelligence I would not have thought a spider would have. Like, she was smart enough to get away from the vacuum, right? She was smart enough to know that, hey, I'm in danger. I need to get away from this area because clearly, like, I'm not safe here. And then she was smart enough to put herself in close proximity to me. And this one might be a little bit of a stretch, but close enough. She's smart enough to be in close proximity of me to know where, I guess, where she can keep an eye on me or that probably being around me is like the safest thing that you could do be doing and not being attacked by me, you know? <laughs> now, I will say that there is a limit to how much space I will allow her to be close to me. I don't have arachnophobia, I just don't like bugs. And if Sissy like moved like underneath my desk or something, then we'd have a problem. Then I would find a piece of paper and I would very gently move her to another part of the house. I don't mean with my shoe. Like, I would legit, like, actually just, like, try to get her to crawl on a piece of paper, like notebook paper or something, and then usher her to another part of the house where she wouldn't be near my feet or something. Because I don't believe that she's venomous, so at least not to humans anyway. Some people have said, have identified her as just a common house, brown, like, common house, common brown house spider, what people have identified her as. She's not like a brown recluse or anything. By the way, can I just say how just truly awful our stats are? This is a this is like yesterday on repeat. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about Sissy, and I realize I've been talking to about her for like 15 minutes almost, and we're still on depths one. Is this the, is this the, this is how it's going to be? The Tane and Maggie run yesterday just set the tone, where we're just going to get zero damage upgrades. See, this is the reason why I didn't want to make a big deal out of the damage or no damage episode, because I'm like, eh, you know, some people don't like to watch no damage episodes. They think, oh, like, it's just going to be boring or it's going to be like, you know, I mean, well, they are boring, but it's going to be like, you know, 40 minutes of complaining and there's just no, there's just no end to it. But no damage runs also, like, provide, like, you know, some of the clutchest runs that we've had on the, on the channel. But man, is it a chore to do <laughs> And boy, howdy, here we are. Now we are going to get a damage upgrade after we fight the boss, of course, because of soul. And um, remember how in our first devil deal where it was mom's knife? Yeah, probably should have taken mom's knife. But because it was the meme of the day and I'm like, eh, I'm not really feeling a mom's knife run. Like, nah, we'll be fine. I, I really, truly don't really like Mom's Knife all that much. I mean, I guess, thanks, Dead Bird. You're dealing more damage than we are, that's for damn sure. Get a tears up, thank God. And uh, we're finally ready to get off this floor. restock machine which is good um I'm gonna drop that here no sacrifice room unfortunately
So obviously the coat hanger is going to give us a nice tears up. It increased our, our tears rate by like 30%. 33% actually. I mean, if anything, a run like this is good for me in dodging practices, but uh, clearly not doing a good job right now. Godspeed is definitely on point thanks to stem cells, but... So anyway, that's the that's the that's the sissy update for everybody. All right, now the stream and now the stream and Twitter, sorry, the stream and X, can uh, get off my back about updating on sissy for a couple of days anyway. I was legit surprised at how sad I was. I, w I wasn't like torn up or depressed or anything about it. I was just like, I was surprised at like how attached like I had gotten to just seeing her every single morning. Oh, who am I kidding? Every single afternoon when I'm up. And when, you know, when you live alone, it's like, I don't know. Someone someone posted on, on X the other day, like the, the Wilson meme from Castaway, when Sissy had gone, when I announced that she had, that she had disappeared. And, and in a weird way, I was like, yeah, I guess kind of. I mean, truly, I don't know how much of, of my personality I'm projecting on a little spider, but who knows just part of my psychosis I guess I almost want to take Mega Mush dude I mean we do have a judgment card so we could technically re-roll it is it better to re-roll that or the devil deal I mean if we re-roll in the secret room we could get an R key or god forbid Genesis but I would take Genesis in a heartbeat on this run and even then Genesis isn't even a good play here I think R key would actually be better than Genesis if, if we can get one if we got death certificate, I would totally take Arky. Spider mod. Speaking of spiders. The reverse devil card, which would instantly kill mom. Good to have. And we get Abel. Abel. All right. I think that answered our entire question for us. The question is, do I want Magic Mush or do I, or Mega Mush or do I want the Crystal Ball? Crystal Ball is pretty dang nice. I'm addicted to mapping, as everyone knows. You know what I should have done? I should have used Mega Mush first, killed Mom, full carded out, and then done this. But can't go back now. Free sack. First eye. Skeleton key. And it's a damage upgrade, so... Or no, it's not. It's not even a damage upgrade. It's freaking dad's ring, not mom's ring. Hey! Yikes. If dad's ring was like double the perimeter of what it was or the circumference of what it is right now, it might be useful. It's one of those items that just one of those items that I just don't know why it exists. You know? Like it freezes stuff that gets close to you. True. But uh <laughs> what else can you do for me? Does you see Venus here? You see you see how Venus is activating without us even being anywhere near like a target? Yeah. Uh Dad's ring doesn't do that. See how uh, see how Keeper's Kin activates, and we don't even need to be near like you know the rocks and stuff. Yeah, that drink doesn't do that. Okay, <clears throat> instant payout with Guppy's eye there. No, I refuse. Trying to charm him here, get the dinga and the dips out one fell swoop. And honestly, this is like the most charming. This is the most charm damage I think we've ever dealt, ever. I I can't. I really can't justify. I'm going to take the negative for damage, but I highly doubt we'll do a victory lap here. I'm just going to be honest.
The main problem is that our tears rate is still garbage, even after death touch. Because death touch is technically a tears down, which is really not what we want. This is a room that is totally 100% understandable to, to bypass. Still felt like we had flying there for a second. Yeah, you, you guys keep shooting each other. I'm trying from below, slowly paying out for us here. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. That would have thought that the secret room for sure was going to be south of here, but we know it's not thanks to the uh, crystal ball. Yeah, the, look at Venus here. This is just, this is beautiful. Gotta say, MVP goes to crystal ball 100%. Hundred percent goes to Crystal Ball in my mind. Keeping us safe, giving us mapping. Definitely the assist goes to uh the Venus. That's a freeze there by Dad's ring after talking so much trash about it. Super secret room is guaranteed to be up here pretty much. Eh. We can, if we get a devil deal, I'll hold on to it, but no is actually, I think, better. job by spider mod actually setting uh saying skull x ablaze there match book and a Krampus one is what i pretty much expected At least Lump of Coal has been showing up with a pretty regular frequency. Um, let's go back, and I'm going to take no. Head on down. That was only womb one. All right. So we're going to use a crystal ball here. Again, giving us another, uh, another good uh, soul heart. Getting a lot of arcades too. Now there is an arc, there is a, a sack room here, but I don't think that we have enough leeway to really play it. Given our damage, I don't think it's worth the risk. So you're you're telling me that explosion that was here will hit that, but then that other room, explosion that was here, didn't. Okay. Every say a game. Again, the real insult here is the fact that we have soul, which, yes, it does give us a buff, but again, it's not until after we're, we're done with the boss. And really, the only thing that soul is good for, other than clearing the curses, is the fact that it shows you where the boss room is. But the thing is that we have crystal ball, so we don't need to know that. And we're essentially getting nothing for soul, essentially, essentially, essentially. Very weird pattern she's not even trying to hit us with. Don't see that often. This is this is more typical of mom.
There we go. And Venus really is showing the value of charming tears and charmed effects in the game to a greater extent than I would have ever, like, really imagined. No devil deal. We're going to head on to Zao. It's just, you know, it's just another one of those, another one of those episodes where we really didn't have anything that truly stood out in terms of our, like, paper stats. But I will say that I am thoroughly impressed with the amount of damage we've taken in this run and also with the amount of uh, damage that the charm effects have caused. Like, things running into other things is really powerful. Things shooting other things is also really powerful. I'm not going to use a crystal ball because I'd rather just wait for the uh, dark chest here. Thank you, fanny pack. That charm effect absolutely ruins Fallen. Like, truly screws it over. And that's, again, really a good showing of what charm can do. Which is why Sissy is so undervalued sometimes. Okay. I don't know which one of Isaac's toes is sticking out. He's hitting, but... Stanley's pulling some... Pulling some... Stanley magic here with his shots. What really was trying to do was get one of the bomb lamprey flies to fly into a charm Satan foot, which we did. Oh boy, rough go at it, folks, but we're still living. Mostly in, thanks in part to Bad Devil Deals and uh, Crystal Ball. And Sanguine Bond would have been nice a while ago, but Guppy's Collar. Yeah, I don't really think any of this is worth taking, to be honest. I mean, we could take Succubus, but at this point, when we know we're not going to go for a victory lap, I don't think it's worth it. Like, we're not going to die. We're not going to die to Lamb. I would have to have just an immense collapse to lose the lamb at this point. What was that brimstone curling at the end there? I'm not talking about Canada's second favorite sport. Thank you. This is truly the power of charm here. My hope is that Alex drew Eden as this like really smoking hot waifu. That's my that's my hope that I told him to, to do this episode as. No idea what hit me. Dark one got rid of the other ones for us. So that's going to bring us to today's question of the episode, everybody. In that, have you ever used the charm effect as your primary source of damage? If you have, what is the best charm effect in the game? And why is it Venus? <laughs> Most people are probably going to say Sissy. I mean, honestly, like Mom's eyeshadows are probably going to be up there as well. But I think that Venus, honestly, is probably the strongest. So that is my question of the day. Question of the episode. What is, in your opinion, the strongest charm effect in the game? And have you ever used charm as your primary source of damage like we have in this episode? We pretty much had to at this point. 
It's gonna be a long, long lamb fight. I wish we had any bomb effects of any kind. Only dealing two damage per thanks to D Bizzle. Hundred damage from the bomb is pretty good. Nice freeze there by a uh, dad's ring. Actually fast enough to dodge it. And here's where the charm really takes off. This is where Sissy is a uh, hard counter to Lamb with the charm effects. But we didn't get a chance for him to run into himself. Somehow he's still brimstoning while frozen. Not sure how that works. We are going to get the dub here. So no, no victory lap today. That was... 45 minutes of pain, but I will say thank you all very much for being here. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, everyone, make sure you click that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know about the charm effect question, and also let me know what you did this weekend. I'd love to hear it. Hopefully you're staying safe and cool outside in this really hot summer weather. Unless if you're not somewhere that isn't having hot weather, then I hope you're just staying uh, cool. Or, or, or warm, depending, I guess, where you are in the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Ryan Newsom, Jade Fright, and Daniel Lynch. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.